Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 11th of June. India to focus on solving border issues with China and Pakistan, says Jay Shankar. Delisting Taliban from banned groups important, says Russia's foreign ministry. And Maldives to probe agreements inked with India despite Moizu's visit. And now for all the details. Dr. S.J. Shankar on Tuesday after taking office as the India's foreign minister for the second consecutive term outlined approaches to solve relations with China, Pakistan and Maldives. He said China and Pakistan present unique challenges and India's relations with them are different. India has faced border issues with China again and again and the situation got worse in 2020 in a military standoff when at least 20 Indian soldiers and four Chinese troops were killed in the worst clashes in five decades. While addressing the issue of cross-border terrorism with Pakistan, Jai Shankar emphasized India's determination to seek a resolution. Relations between both countries have worsened since a 2019 suicide bombing of an Indian military convoy in Kashmir that was traced to Pakistan-based militants. It prompted New Delhi to carry out an airstrike on what it said was a militant base in Pakistan. In relation and the search operation to track terrorists in Riyasi district of India's Jammu and Kashmir territory entered the second day on Tuesday. The joint operation was launched after the horrific terror attack on a bus of Hindu pilgrims this past weekend in which at least 10 people including two children were killed and 33 others injured. The attack has been claimed by TRF affiliated to Pakistan-based lashkar e taiba terror outfit. While the Jammu Kashmir police have formed multiple teams to investigate the Riyasi terror attack, a team of National Investigative Agency has also arrived to assist the police and assess the ground situation. The incident took place days ahead of annual Hindu pilgrimage to the Amarnath cave. Defence experts have said the incident, which coincided with the swearing-in ceremony of the new government of India, was orchestrated by Pakistan to show that the Kashmir region is still unstable. Search teams are out there. Some of the areas which we have nominated, some of the escape routes which we have identified, are being dominated. और यहाँ पे क्योंकि बहुत ही एक वुडेड हाईवेली वुडेड और जंगल टाइप का एरिया है और पहाड़ी इलाका है इसमें हमारी जो इंटेल लीड्स आ रही हैं उसके चलते हमने दो एक्सीज पे आज 11 टीम्स का इस्तेमाल किया है और उनको इस एरिया में फैलाया हुआ है आर्मी की टीम्स हमारे साथ कंप्लीट कोऑर्डिनेशन में चल रही हैं सीआरपीएफ की टीम्स हमारे साथ कंप्लीट कोऑर्डिनेशन में चल रही हैं और सारी फोर्सेस का एक मिलाजुला एफर्ट यहां पे चल रहा है मूविंग ऑन Residents from Asto region of Gilgit, Baltistan recently held a protest over activities of land mafias and unlawful seizure of their lands. They lamented inaction by the authorities despite several appeals. A report. The land mafia issue in Pakistan-occupied Gilgit, Baltistan remains pressing with unlawful land seizures using forceful or deceitful tactics. This endangers legitimate owners and inhabitants, exposing them to eviction and property laws. Recently, a protest outside the Gilgit Press Club highlighted encroachment on grazing lands in the upper Astor area, where they claimed pastures in five villages are being seized, while no action is being taken by authorities. 
जो उनके साथ मिले हुए हैं जो माफिया है लैंड माफिया उनके साथ मिले हुए हैं वो अभी भी हमारी जिस किस्म की भी कोई एप्लीकेशन जाती है वो उसको वहाँ से गायब कराते हैं तो हम पूरा इलाका आज ये तीन गाँवों के लोग हैं बल्कि पांच गाँवों के लोग बरसर जो है ना एहतजाज हैं हमारा मुतालबा ये है फॉरेस्ट कमांडर साहब आप हमारे इलाके में रह चुके हैं एटी ब्रिगेड आप वहाँ रहे हैं आपको इलाके की हसासीत का भरपूर अंदाज से इलम है आपसे हमारा इल्तमास है कि आप इस मामले में बार्डर की हसासीत को मलूज खातिर रखते हुए आप इसमें किरदार अदा करें जज क्या है क्योंकि उनके जमीनों को एक रात की तारीखी में जो है कि रात बारह बजे के बाद सेटलमेंट वालों को बुला के दो दो चार मंदू ने सेटलमेंट वालों को बुलाया बुलाने के बाद रात की तारीखी में ही उनको वापस भेज दिया गया लोगों को पता ही नहीं था अनपढ़ लोग थे बेचारे सादे लोग थे जब हमें पता चला इस सेटलमेंट सेटलमेंट के बारे में तो हमने मुबतदर इदारे जो हैं उनसे रबता भी किया उनके पास गए भी लेकिन हमारी एक्सेस नहीं हुई उस रिकॉर्ड तक वो इस वजह से कि कुछ लोगों की उनको हिमात हासिल थी इस वजह से हमें एक्सेस होना नहीं दिया The testimonies highlighted the injustice and frustration of local communities in the occupied region, marginalized and denied access to their own lands. Despite protests and appeals, many face challenges in reclaiming their rightful land. Moving on, Russia's Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova has said that work on the possible removal of Taliban from Moscow's terrorist list is based on the need for contact with Afghanistan. Her comments came on the sidelines of the St. Petersburg Economic Forum, which was also attended by a delegation of Taliban. She said some media organizations have reacted nervously to the development. Apparently, those who write about these issues do not realize that the solution to problems such as the fight against drug trafficking, terrorism and organized crime actually requires contacts and it is in our national interests, she said. Earlier, Russian President Vladimir Putin also called for Moscow to build up relations with the Taliban. Putin said, we have always believed that we need to deal with the reality the Taliban are in power in Afghanistan. Meanwhile, Sri Lanka's Foreign Minister Ali Sabri on the sidelines of BRICS Foreign Ministers Conference held a bilateral meeting with this Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov, and discussed the issue of Sri Lankan citizens who have joined the Russian armed forces. Sabri said both sides agreed to review the concerns related to the recruitment of ex-servicemen and take suitable action to arrest the situation. He said that there will be no further recruitment of ex-servicemen for combat duties. This comes after reports that at least 16 Sri Lankans have been killed and over 600 have likely joined as combatants mainly for the Russian side, taking risks for higher payment. But an escapee said over 200 Sri Lankan ex-soldiers have died in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. The returnees have said most of them were duped that they were being sent for support work as camp helpers. A parliamentary committee of Maldives on Monday passed a resolution to investigate the agreements signed by previous government with India. According to the Moldavian news outlet, the addition, the 241 committee of the Moldavian parliament, which oversees the operations of the security services in the country, decided to review three agreements signed by President Ibrahim Mohamed Suli's administration following a proposal by a lawmaker from President Mohammed Moizu's People's National Congress Party. The matters under scrutiny by the Parliamentary Committee include the Hydrography Agreement between India and the Maldives, the UTF Dockyard for Moldavian Forces being built with Indian assistance and the agreement concerning the Dornier aircraft gifted by New Delhi. The Moizu's administration has already decided against renewing the hydrography agreement. Notably, this development comes shortly after Prime Minister Narendra Modi's oath ceremony, which was also attended by the Moldavian president. While the relations between the two nations had taken a hit following the pro-China leader's election to the top office, Moizu recently remarked that he looks forward to working with the Prime Minister Modi to further strengthen the close relations with India.
That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.